Well, the State Fair of Oklahoma began this past week, and with it, hundreds of students from across the state taking part in the livestock shows, something that in part is made possible by the work of my next two guests. Joining me now are Lacey Dale Culley and Malia Eigel, both members of Oklahoma's Diamond Hats. Well, first of all, Lacey Dale, tell us what a Diamond Hat is. Diamond Hats are women in Oklahoma that are united in supporting and promoting agriculture youth. We began in 2005 with 28 members, and in 2009 we have over 100 members. And one way that you do this support is through fundraising and something big is about to come up. We have our Diamond Hats Gala, September the 30th, Wednesday night at the Cowboy Hall of Fame at 6 o'clock p.m. Um, Jennifer Reynolds is our MC who has been very gracious in helping us out for the last couple of years. We have um, the AA Bunkhouse, uh, A-Bar Bunkhouse Band. They're going to provide entertainment with uh, swing music, and we do have a dance floor. Uh, we have just some great entertainment, and we look forward for everybody being there. Well, Lacey Dill, I certainly want to hear more about some of the silent and the live auction items. Well, we're really fortunate to have a wide variety, um, everything from jewelry to an elk hunt at the Express Ranch's UU Bar in New Mexico, a lot of OSU and OU paraphernalia, uh, Santa Fe Company and Galleria Furniture have both donated furniture pieces, and um, even a special dinner has been donated with President Burns and Miss Ann Hargis. Along with Southwestern Oklahoma State University has been generous to offer a room and board for a semester for a student. Well, that sounds absolutely fantastic. And Malia, this money goes to a very good cause. Yes, it does. It goes towards helping our young people with scholarships and purchasing their animals at the Oklahoma Youth Expo, which has been great. One of the things that we are um, honoring at the gala is the all-state academic winners. Certainly, certainly. And, and tell me, just how important are these scholarships to these young people? Well, I, as an agriculture youth myself, um, I believe that scholarships are imperative for um, agriculture youth. A lot of them aren't afforded the luxury of fully paid school from their folks, and we all learn a really good hard work ethic growing up, and I think a lot of kids work really hard to obtain those scholarships, and it's very rewarding to the women of Diamond Hats to know that our efforts are helping further the future of agriculture in Oklahoma and beyond. And this is something that's open to the public on September 30th. What can someone do if they want to attend? They want to attend, they can go to www.diamondhats.org and print off all of the um, gala information and send in their payment for their tickets for that night. All right, well, we thank both of you for being here. Thank you, Malia. Thank, thank you, Lacey you. Dale. Thank you. Thank you.